and welcome back to Bohemian Crafting Channel. It's Eva here and today I'm coming to share with you my passion for coffee. I do love coffee very much and I do love coffee uh, where I am making my coffee using these coffee pots. I also love planet Earth and uh, to make sure I will don't make too many trash. Uh, I was thinking very hard how I can reuse or recycle those little coffee pots and I think I came up with very cute idea and I hope you will join me with this upcycling craft. Uh, I decided to make a very little and very cute Christmas bells. First I had to take off the plastic from that uh, larger open area and then I had to make kind of like hole in the top of that coffee pot or maybe in the bottom of that coffee pot, depends how you will look on that. For that, I've been using players, which I am using for making jewelry. It helped me quite a lot to create kind of like hole. You have to be careful because these coffee pots can be very fragile. I destroyed a few of them until I was successful and I found that uh, right amount of smash <laughs> to make a hole through to that through to that opening here you can see how it looks like and as a heart of my bell I decided to use the paper clip and also a small jingle bell that paper clip will be also as a hanger so I will be able to to hang my bells or Christmas bells on Christmas tree I unfolded that paper clip and then I decided to cover one half of that paper clip with Utah string. Uh, I think the Utah string can match with many styles of Christmas decorations. So I decided to go with this and uh, to glue that string around my paper clip. I used hot glue gun. I glued that string uh, uh, on the middle part of my paper clip and then I wrapped it or wrap it around that open edge of my paper clip and on the end of that uh, paper clip I also glued that string to make sure it will don't slide down and it will hold properly and then uh, I wrapped that string back again to that middle of my paper clip to make sure it will hold nicely, it will be covered through the way. And that was the start of making the heart of my bell. Then on that open metal, uh, I will be hanging my jingle bell. And all this heart of my bell, I will slide through to that coffee pot. as you can see in the video. To make sure this heart of my bell will be holding nicely, uh, I slide it through to that open hole a little bit and then I glue that, uh, that uh, open part with hot glue to make sure it will be holding nicely and I will be able to use this coffee pot as my decoration on a Christmas tree. I had to wait a little bit till hot glue will dry. Once it was dry and holding well, I folded or, or banded that paper clip again to make a hook. And at that moment I was able to start to decorate my coffee pot. Before I will glue any kind of decoration, I decided to kind of like brush the bottom of that uh, bell to make sure there will be no any sharp edges. For that I've been using uh, my nail file for gluing decorative parts, decorative elements. Uh, I'm gonna be using clear uh, glossy gel and for making those decorative parts I'm using uh, air dry clay. Uh, I bought on AliExpress uh, beautiful silicone molds and one of these molds has a very beautiful border as you can see now. And that border, border I decided to use on the edge of my bell because I think it will make it very beautiful. I will try try uh, find the link for this silicone. I think I bought it on AliExpress. I will have a look. And if I will find the link, I will definitely put the link for this silicone mold down below. 
I do believe I do have a link for that second one, which has holly leaves and uh, ivory leaves, which I used for decorating the topper of my bell. Here you can see that I'm using that uh, gel, that glossy gel, gel for gluing my decorative border. I really like this border because uh, it makes that that bell very beautiful and cute and it's it's just very Christmassy feeling already now. So once I had glued this border on the bottom of my bell I took a brush and I kind of like spread that gel I used for gluing my uh, border so I spread that gel on the top of my bell. It will also help uh, when I will start to paint it that gel will also help to hold my paint uh, properly. Then uh, I created uh, other decorations using that air dry clay. Uh, I created these holly leaves and uh, I also used a few of these uh, ivory leaves. You will see that in the video. I'm gluing all these little parts <clears throat> before they will dry. That way I am able to kind of create the right shape and to lay them down, uh, down around my bell. So once the clay will dry, all these parts will hold nicely, will have uh, the shape I need. So they will cover the bell really beautifully. So all these decorations I'm gluing uh, straight away, straight away on that uh, on that coffee pot to make sure they will hold beautifully and they will sit nicely. I'm not waiting to, to let them dry on the air before I will glue them down. I'm gluing them straight away, as you can see. And to make sure my holly leaves will have also those uh, holly berries, I will be creating them uh, just by hand, just by rolling those little parts. I wanted to have there so many leaves, so as you can see, uh, I've been using different sizes and glued them all around of that bell. And it's already have a really cute look and I'm so happy I decided to do so because I believe till next Christmas I will have bells for all house. So here you can see how I'm making those holly berries. And uh, again, I am gluing them using that gel. And all this creation, uh, it was such a pleasure to, to create this. Here you can see how the bell looks uh, after I glued all these parts on it. I had to let it dry. And after everything was dry, <coughs> pardon me, uh, I decided to use a homemade gesso for first uh, first coat so after this homemade gesso will dry my acrylic paint will hold much much better there is so many videos on youtube how you can make your home uh, homemade gesso so go to have a look if you will don't find any kind of link just let me know i can make uh, i can make short tutorial how you can make homemade gesso once all this was dry, I uh, took few paints, few acrylic paints, and uh, started or uh, yeah, started to paint my uh, little bell. I'm using just very cheap acrylic paints from Poundland, which I had in my stuff. I couldn't find anything else, so that's why all this. But everything holds really nicely, so you don't have to have expensive paintings to create your own decoration. Uh, I did use green, uh, red, a little bit of gold, and then I put in one, one small, my palette pot, I put a little bit of yellow because I wanted to have there two, uh, two tones of green. So one will be darker and one... I will create mixing uh, by mixing darker green with that yellow. I will create kind of like lighter green color. And for uh, for basic paint, I decided to use the white color. As you saw me, I sprayed there a little bit of water just because my acrylic paint was very thick and I didn't want to have that. Uh, I sprayed there a little bit of water to make it thinner and then... Uh, I made two coats, 
uh, using this white paint on all my bell and then I've been waiting to, to make sure all this white uh, painting will be dry and I made two coats of this white painting. Once I had all my white painting, that base painting done, I started to use uh, all those other colors. First uh, I took green and I painted all those leaves and uh, holly leaves and those ivory leaves with that dark green first. And I have to say this is this was very uh, very long process as the bell is very small and I didn't paint for a long time so to make sure I will don't have smooshes everywhere I had to be very careful. <clears throat> and here you can see uh, that I'm mixing uh, that dark green with that yellow to create a light green and with that light green I added color. Uh, to few of my leaves to make their a difference and I have to say that it looks really amazing once you uh, put their few tones of uh, of the colors uh, you are creating that perfect dimension to your project so don't be afraid to use few tones after I had all green done I started to paint my berry uh, not berry, berry leaves or holly, holly berries I guess I hope I'm saying that right, that it's holly berries with the red color and with the same red color, <coughs> pardon me, with the same red color, uh, I also painted the stripes of this coffee pot. That was, I think, the hardest painting I ever did because those uh, strips uh, in those coffee pots are very small and my hand was very shaking so you will don't see too much in that video because I had to put many times my head over my painting to make sure I am on the right spot so you will see here just a few of these stripes but I, I managed after I think two, two hours to paint all <laughs> these stripes it was really hard and as a as a last touch very small touch I decided to use a little bit of that gold paint and add here and there just a slight, uh, just a re really very small amount of that gold paint. It will be covered with uh, another white paint again, but I wanted to have there kind of like gold patina. So very softly I'm touching just the edges of few leaves and the edges of that uh, bottom border I used for the edge of my bell. Just really very soft touch not uh, too much of that gold and once all this was dry I wanted to add there kind of like snowy effect so for that I'm taking my acrylic paint white acrylic paint and with brush with hard uh, hard hair I'm using that dry brush technique and I'm editing a little bit of that white painting over all that Christmas bell and as you can see it looks already really beautiful and really cute. I'm so happy I decided to use my coffee pots for this creation because I know I will make a lot of them through the year so next year all our house will, <laughs> will be full of bells. So after I made this kind of like snowy effect on my bell, I took a bindex from studio, PBO studio. The bindex uh, works also uh, like a glue. So uh, I decided to use this bindex for my homemade, homemade mix of sand and glitter. And this I will use for that glittery effect. Uh, so it will looks like it's frosty. Here you can see that I'm editing that bindex on the bottom edge and also all over of my molds. Uh, all this it's dry already. All painting I used, all these molds are, are totally dry. I didn't use that bindex straight away. I always wait uh, till every single layer will be totally dry. That way I'm sure that this decoration will hold nicely. And here you can see that I am add adding uh, that mix of glitter and sand 
on my bell to make sure that it will look like sun, uh, snowy and frosty. My camera will don't take it too much, but I hope you will be able to see that uh, that glitter in that sand. That sand is, by the way, a very fine sand. So that mix makes really beautiful glittery effect. And this is how Altered coffee pot looks like on Christmas tree. You can paint it or you can make make it white and just with those leaves on the top so there is many options you can get and this is all my sharing for today and for this year 2022 thank you all for all your support thank you so much for those who are supporting my channel and who are sharing my videos I do appreciate that very, very much. I hope you found some inspiration in this video. It is important to help our earth to breathe easily. And I do believe with small steps like this, when we will kind of help uh, to transform that plastic trash to something what we can use every year through the Christmas time, what we can save in our boxes and do not uh, throw it to the earth. Hopefully these small steps will keep us longer on the earth and uh, I hope you will join me on this ride. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today and for upcoming year. I wish you all very best. May your year is filled with love, strong health, amazing friends and wonderful families and year full of happiness. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day. Have a beautiful night. And I will see you in 2023. Bye.